This tree had fallen and it hit my house and hit the electrical box. And then I have some trees down in the backyard and then over to our left, the tree had fell down and was blocking my driveway. Just take a look at the damage here. The National Weather Service confirms yet another tornado detected after storms this week. This one in the Stonecrest area, one in Noonan, which took out trees and left the path of damage, and another in Heard County. Our Sky Tracker 11 gave us a bird's eye view of all the destruction. Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb joining us now, tracking those storms every step of the way. So, Chris, what's the latest on these tornadoes? Well, we're still waiting for the final report to come in from that Stonecrest tornado, but uh, the survey team today told us this afternoon that the damage was consistent with an EF0. Hopefully by tomorrow they'll complete the report and we'll know what the wind speed is and also the length of the path of that storm as well. But this was located around the Evans Mill Road area, uh, not too far off of I-20 in the Stonecrest area is what we're talking about, and that is from Tuesday night. Now, we also told you yesterday about confirmation of the Heard County tornado. That was down around the Roosterville area. Today, we got the specifics on it, that it was an EF1 with winds of about 105 miles an hour. It had about a two and a half mile path as it was around Roosterville, went by the Gum Creek Airport, and then lifted as it moved up toward the north and to the east. So we'll let you know when additional surveys come out during the day tomorrow, but meanwhile, quiet, cool weather here. Look at these temperatures. We're in the 40s now, moving down into the 30s here by tomorrow morning, and then a little slower to warm tomorrow afternoon. We'll be only in the mid 50s by the afternoon hours. We'll let you know if this cooler, drier weather is going to persist into the weekend in just a few minutes.